Hello, everybody, this is RJ Epic here, and welcome finally to the comic countdown number two. And we are finally back on schedule, back for our daily videos. I've had some troubles lately in terms of recording and finding time, so I just decided to take a small break, which may happen every so often. But when I do come back from those short breaks, they will be daily uploads again, and those shouldn't happen that often, so we should be fine. But, we are finally back. Comic Countdown. If you don't remember the last Comic Countdown video, because it has been a while, go watch that, because that was one of my favorite videos I've done in a long time. Uh, but basically, in this series, we go over all the books that I picked up in the latest haul, but in this case, it was two hauls ago. Because um, I still have the haul, last haul to do... Probably tomorrow, but I think I'm going to be splitting it into two parts, so stay tuned to that. So you guys are going to get, because since I um, bought seven of the comics in one haul and six of the comics in another haul, I think I'm going to split them up, so because I bought them in separate times, so I kind of want to keep it per actual haul. So it won't be episode three and four, it'll just be episode three, part one. Actually, no, I don't know, maybe I will split it into... Um, just two episodes, but I'll find out. Or I might still put it together into one, but that'll take a while, and it'll be really long, so I don't know. We'll see what happens, but if I do this first option, then I get two videos for two days, so I mean, I think I'm going to do that. But anyway, basically what the series is, we go over the books, like I was saying, and we rank them from my least favorite to my favorite book. And I haven't read these books in a couple weeks, so I kind of forget some of the stuff that happened in them, but I forget the basis of them and which ones I did like more than others. So I'm just going to go with the flow, and we're just going to talk about these books here. And I'm going to go over what books I got, just in case you don't remember that haul, or in case you haven't watched that haul. So basically, I got Harley Quinn and Power Girl, number one. I got Danger Girl, Renegade, number one. My first IDW book, I got The Walking Dead number 148 at Breaking Point Reached. I got Secret Wars number 2 of 8, finally. I got Deadpool First Phantoms number 1. And those were all 5 books I got. So, what was number 5 on my list and my least favorite book of this haul, which was my comic haul number 31? In, in case you don't, in case you didn't realize or couldn't figure it out. My least favorite book out of these five, you might be surprised, and it's kind of surprised me, but not really, because I kind of saw this coming, because the issue before this was kind of disappointing, and so was this one, and I mean, that only leaves two options, because all my other series were number one, so it's Odyssey Wars number two of eight, or The Walking Dead, and sadly, I have to say, my least favorite book of this haul was The Walking Dead. Number 148, A Breaking Point Reached. Now, I know what you're saying. How can Walking Dead be your least favorite book out of all these? Like, don't you love Walking Dead? Yes, I love Walking Dead. But just because I love it doesn't mean I can't be disappointed by it. And the last two issues have been disappointing. It feels like nothing has happened at all in the last two issues. I swear, I feel like it's so fillerish right now. Like, these are the mo like, I don't have many, like, I don't, I usually like filler issues, even with, especially with The Walking Dead, but these past two are ridiculously, I don't like them, I don't like them. Now, this one was probably a bit better than the last one, but this one also, like, I don't know why I spent three ninety nine on this book, I mean, I do, but we didn't get anything in this book. Half of the book, I'm pretty sure, well, like, a, at least a third of the book was no words in it. So, that was kind of, like, that kind of annoyed me in itself. Um, there was some cool moments, like, this whole moment, but, I mean, right after they get into a little fight, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, oh, I'm sorry, and then they're fine. So, it didn't make a difference anyway. They were fine right after. So, yeah. I don't know. I I'm kind of kind. I don't really have anything specific to say about this book. Like I said, it's been a couple weeks. Um, and actually, this is probably the. L I can't remember like anything that happened beside the fight. 
And besides people being upset, of course, but that's to be expected. So, I mean, yeah. But anyway, let's move on to my number four of this haul. And that would have to be boom 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 the only book that the only other book that wasn't a new number one and that would be Secret Wars number two of eight. Yes, this is my number four. Which probably doesn't surprise you. I've liked the Secret Wars event and I liked the first issue and issue number zero of Secret Wars. But I don't know if it's because I haven't read the actual Secret Wars in a while. Or haven't read everything about Secret Wars, but I found this issue. This issue was all over the place. There was like at least four different groups slash series from the Secret, a whole Secret Wars event that they kind of covered, and the main one being the fours, which I actually did find the four stuff kind of cool, but it was also a little boring at parts. Um, I was like in the whole um. British um, superhero people like in their exiles and everything that was cool too which was included with the four stuff I guess also but Morbius was also there I think that was Morbius um, I, there was some cool parts in the story it was it was a good issue all these were good issues it's just that I don't really know what I found was wrong with this I just didn't really like it, I think it's also because they left us hanging on what happened to the other heroes in the first issue that were in the other jet that didn't get destroyed right away or something. And even the ones who did get destroyed, like, are they actually dead or are they bringing them back? Like, what is happening? But at the end of this issue, we did get to see the villains that were in the first issue, like, including the maker that friggin', um were like control and everything and behind the scenes are like and trying to um make sure they live or whatever oh man i which reminds me that out of all the uh, the new offenders i have now but i i will get into that in the next comic countdown but that's all i'm going to talk about for secret wars because i don't really have anything else to say that i can think of and i don't really feel like sitting here on the night because it is night like last time even though well last time was a 20 almost a 30 minute video it was 28 minutes and i kind of don't want to go that long even though this is going long this will probably be longer this will probably be longer than 15 minutes or about 15 minutes but that's fine anyway on to the next one what will it be i lay these out in no random order because i want to surprise you guys and I think you guys will be surprised at what my number one is. Um, but my number three is Harley Quinn and Power Girl issue number one. This was great. Actually, let me correct myself. The second half of this was great. Maybe even less than half. The first half, the only thing really that kept me going in the first half was Harley Quinn. I like Power Girl. Trust, I really like Power Girl, even in this issue. But Harley Quinn is what stood out. She is hilarious. I love their approach on Harley Quinn now. I love how they handle her. And I really wish I could be reading her actual series. But they don't have the issue, next issue I'm looking for. So I might have to skip some issues and just go to the lowest one I can find. Because I really want to read Harley Quinn. So bad. And it's kind of getting ridiculous. But I will be picking this up. I know there's already four issues out, probably soon to be five. So next time, I was going to actually, in my last haul, um, but as you see, I didn't. I was going to pick up issue number two. Same with the Deadpool for Spanos, I was going to get issue number two. But that didn't end up happening. But hopefully next time, I'll get issue number two of this, just to keep it going. Either this or that, I, I at least want one of the issue number twos. Which actually, if I had to choose, it'd probably be that, since it's obviously ranked higher on my list. But at the same time, this is pretty good. And to tell you, the cliffhanger at the end was pretty cool. It's not really a cliffhanger. But it's kind of like, well, what's going to happen next? I guess it is a cliffhanger by definition, but it's not that great of a cliffhanger. Um, there's also, they were, um, they're kind of making fun of Marvel in this, too. Uh, with, um, with a character. I think it was making fun of Thanos. They might have been making fun of two characters. 
um, actually, which I thought was hilarious. Um, <laughs> and they also went to this planet where I guess another Power Girl was like the ruler's um, uh, love, <laughs> got like love friend. Or, I don't know how to explain it, but which is actually the guy that's in the background here. Um, they were pretty cool, intimate apparently. Um, but yeah. Um, uh, I don't know if I have anything else to talk about this one, so I think we're just going to move on, but yeah, this was a good issue, I will pick up more of this, so yeah, let's move on. To my number two, what can it be? It's either Danger Girl or Renegade, issue number one, or Deadpool for Thanos, issue number one, and it is actually Deadpool for Thanos, issue number one. That's my number two, so you know what my number one is now, but we'll get into that after. My number two, Deadpool for Spanos, issue number one. Oh my god, this was great. The beginning, I was a bit iffed by, but I knew it was, I still liked it. Like, the first few pages was like, meh, meh but it got really good really quick. And I love this cover, um, because Deadpool, if you don't know, for some reason... Is a character where he knows he's in a comic or whatever media format he's in. And he breaks the fourth wall. So he's like, it was a joke, Marvel. When I, I was joking when I said I wanted to fight Thanos. But yeah, this issue was great. But one thing that did annoy me, but at the same time I laughed at, was at the end, this is going to be one of those series... One of those Deadpool fans or one of those anything fans where they say there's going to be a battle between these two characters. Oh my god. But then they end up teaming up together. Yes. At the end of this issue, it turns out that it looks like Deadpool and Thanos are going to be teaming up together to go and find both their lovers death. Or both their sweethearts death. Because they both love death. The actual character. Not like death like in itself. But death, the character. And also the story was set before the Marvel Now relaunch of Deadpool. So that was something cool too. So I don't have any uh, Marvel books before the relaunch of Marvel Now. Besides really old like 80's books. And stuff like that. Um, which is fine with me too. Because uh, those are good too. Um, also there was a, this weird bird character that I'd never seen before. Or that I've only seen one time and kind of erased him out of my mind. And he's like a magic voodoo person. And it was kind of hysterical. The conversation between him and Deadpool. So, it was... You guys just have to pick up this issue. I don't want to do a whole spoiler thing. That's what my reviews are for. I might review this. Because I thought it was pretty great. So, yeah. I'm just going to move on to my number one. And I'm going to be picking up the next issue. And variants. There's a lot of variants there, but I got the. I think this is normal cover. I haven't checked. This probably isn't normal cover actually, but I don't really care. I thought it was a cool cover, and I liked the fourth wall breaking, so I got it. But on to my number one, which would happen to be my first IDW book, and what a great one to start with. And it is Danger Girl Renegade issue number uno, otherwise known as un, otherwise known as one. That was three languages. In three different languages, I just said number one. So, let's go. Danger Girl was great. Danger Girl Renegade. Next issue comes out soon, this month. Um, I don't know when, but I'm picking it up. I'm adding this to my poll list. Next time I go, I think I am at least. I have a lot of books to add now, especially with the last haul. Uh, the last haul video, so I got, so the last two hauls, because I got so many good books, mostly the last haul in general, but I'm adding so many books now to my pull list, some of them haven't even come out yet, by the time I'm going to add them, because I want to be prepared, and especially with the Avengers books coming out, because there's like six series, which I'll be talking about in the next time, well, Probably in two comic countdowns from now. So I'm going to be splitting that into two parts I've decided. Because I'm going to be going into it talking about some of the new Marvel now. The all new, all different Marvel uh, series. Because those I have a lot to talk about. And that should be a fun episode. But um, I love the little backstory. At, for like the first half of this issue. 
that was awesome. This, like, I felt like I was, like, watching a movie, but it was literally, it was, like, a movie from my comic. Like, I could see, like, the whole backstory and just the whole character of Abby and, like, Danger Girl. I could see that as a movie. Like, that was awesome. And then the second half was just as good. Maybe little, maybe a little bit not as great as the first half. But then at the right at the end, it picked right back up. She's like, and she's like, well, Danger Girl split apart. But then she's like, because they thought they split apart. And then she's like, actually, we get. I think she's trying to get the group back together now. So we're going to get the Danger Girl group back together. Hopefully we get to see more of those developments in issue number two. And I am excited. IDW, you have won my heart. And I will be picking up more of your books at some point in the future. I will try to get at least one or two more series. Started of yours or just read of yours by the end of this year. Hopefully, probably only one. I can't promise you two because that's probably not going to happen. So all the new Marvel and DC books coming out. Thanks, guys. I can't get anything else. Plus other arrangements I have with new image series I have, which will be in the next comic countdown, and other image series I have in general uh, to pick up. And I mean, I still got to catch up on some Marvel and DC series like Black Widow because I haven't gotten any of that in a bit now. And I still gotta read more Secret Wars stuff. Like I still gotta catch up. I gotta catch up on Marvel Zombies. Uh, renew your vows for Amazing Spider-Man, Spider First, a crap ton of Secret Wars series I have to catch up on. And Marvel Zombies vs. Age of Ultron is the only other one I can think of. And I still have a lot to start. So yeah. But anyway, this has been the Comic Countdown number two. And I think I'm gonna leave you guys to go. Tomorrow, you guys should be getting um, the Comic Countdown number three, part one. Either that or number three, and then the next day you get number four. Or in between one of those two days, whether it's tomorrow, uh, Friday, or Saturday, you guys should be getting. I mean, you guys probably won't be getting, but you guys might be getting is the word. You guys might be getting a top ten list. Or you guys probably aren't getting Comic Sins, but you might. I don't even know if I'm doing Comic Sense anymore, to tell the truth, but I plan to, and I hope to, but anyway, I'm going to let you guys go, because I want to get this uploaded today, tonight, it's actually not quite 10 yet, so I mean, I'll have plenty of time to upload this, but I want to get done now, and I'm going to go do some other stuff, and have some fun, so I will see you all later, and goodbye.